Hello guys, have you ever used Laravel Livewire for full page component? So that Livewire component wouldn't be a button or a filter, but full page that you see on the screen. Today we will take a look at the code of such project sent to me by one of my followers where I posted on Twitter, do you want me to do some code review? So in this case, it's a code review, but interesting approach to learn from. So if you take a look at the code at the routes of that project, all of the routes, all of them are Livewire components. There's no Laravel controllers. So Livewire, Livewire, everything is Livewire. So let's take a look what's inside and what we can learn from it. Generally, this project seems to me like an example of reusable things. So anything that is repeated more than once is done in a reusable way. So for example, if you navigate to app HTTP Livewire, there are pages, then there are subfolders for companies pages and other pages then every page may use component, for example, model, then there are forms, so different forms, also Livewire, and then there are traits, but specifically for Livewire that can be used in pages. So everything is pretty well thought of, and let's take a look a bit deeper. Let's take a look at company index. What is inside of that component? It's a typical Livewire component, so extends component, but then it uses traits. With pagination is a trait by Livewire itself to get the pagination, so this one, but then others are custom traits. If we go to interacts with model, it's in app HTTP Livewire traits, so it's not in vendor. And there are methods for all the pages that may interact with models. So on any table, open model, close model with some parameters. And then similar has sort and filters. If there is a table component that has sort and filters, all the logic related to that is here. And for example, if we take a look not at company index, but pages, for example, stores, stores index, the same traits are used here. So that's the main idea. If you have some functionality in more than one page, you may reuse it as a trait. And this idea came from, I think, from the official screencasts of Laravel Livewire by Caleb Porzio. I'm not sure if you can see that, but there is a lesson refactoring for reusability in the building data table section. So Caleb is doing a lot of things like filtering, sorting, searching a lot of that, and then refactors that into traits. I will put it on full screen, maybe you can see that. So you can see use with pagination, with sorting and with bulk actions. By the way, if you're planning to work with Livewire, I totally recommend to watch all screencasts. Some of them are free, some of them are not free. You need to become a sponsor on GitHub of Livewire, but it's totally worth it and you would support Caleb in his mission on Livewire. And let's run quickly through that repository and I will emphasize some things that I consider useful. I won't do a deep one hour review of everything because it's a huge project inside, but main interesting things. So use has sort and filters. Not sure if you know, but there's a package called Spatsy Query Builder. So for example, after all those conditions, you may set Query Builder for some class with some request. If we take a look at the official GitHub for that, here's how it works and how it looks. So if you have a lot of filters like for eShop or for catalog, something like this, Spidey package Laravel Query Builder may be an option to choose from, especially since it's very popular. 2.7k stars means that it's well written, maintained and popular. And if we scroll down the same component in render, you can see this load data and it is actually using the same query builder with even more features. Now let's take a look at the model windows. So for example, method create of Livewire component, it does seem like a Laravel controller, almost like a resource controller, but it is in fact Livewire component. So if we take a look at company index and search for create, you can see wire click create and then it loads the model window. So open model, edit open model with company, open model with supplier ID, so different model. So this is the way how to reuse as a trait any model window with passing some parameters. Another interesting thing I found in this repository, if we take a look at company index blade, you see X organisms blade component, molecules, and down below X atoms. And it was pretty weird to me. I haven't seen that anywhere before, but then I Googled and apparently there's a whole approach called atomic design. So in this article, it's for Laravel and down below, they list specifically atomic design principles. So you can divide your components into small things like atoms, like button or something. Then molecules is a set of atoms like in chemistry and then organisms are sets of molecules. 
and I find it pretty interesting. And same thing I found in Vue.js component structure, so atomic design, I will link both of those articles, but it's pretty much the same thing. So if you can split a component into smaller components, then it must be an atom. And a few examples here, so I will link the articles, but I find it pretty interesting. Now let's take a look a bit deeper what happens inside of that model component. So if we open the structure of app HTTP live wire components model, and here's everything that is related to any model in all the project. So you open the model or you close it and then rendering is live wire components model. Let's open that one model blade. So visually it looks something like this. You click add company, you have a model window even with tabs, with validation. So for example, let's enter something. Maybe that's optional. Next. So you have a tab structure. And if you enter something, I'm not sure what is required. Let's save. And it is saved. Company has been saved. And then not sure if you've noticed, but probably the whole table is refreshed. So the whole live wire component gets re-rendered. And here's another example of reusing the same thing. We're loading Livewire component with type. We don't know the component name at this point. So for example, company index, open model, form, company form. So then we go to app HTTP Livewire forms, company form. Let's take a look at this one. And here we have a lot of parameters for the form. So what is the model? What are the fields? What are the tabs? What are the rules for validation? And also it is reused for create and edit company. This is interesting. So update or create is used. So again, I will repeat myself. It's a pretty well structured and well thought of project. To be honest, I haven't created a project that would be that heavily relying on Livewire as an architectural decision. So I find it pretty fascinating. I'm not sure I would do that personally because the whole re-rendering of the full page on any change I'm not entirely sure if it's the best decision. Let's try again. Let's add a company and let's see how much it takes. And then let's actually open network tab and let's see what is happening here. So office number, that's the validation stuff getting fired from what I understand. We click next, another validation. Let's leave something, we save. And yes, it reloads company index and let's see the response. The response HTML is div wire. 106 kilobytes are getting refreshed. And that's probably the main criticism of Livewire in general, that it's refreshing a lot of stuff, a lot of HTML. But for the first time, I see a project that is fully Livewire re-rendering everything. But of course, the advantage is that you don't have to learn any JavaScript for that. So everything is happening in basically app HTTP folder. So if you are a backender and you don't want to learn Vue.js or React or anything, you could potentially build your whole project, the whole application logic with only live wire and get the models, the dynamic elements, the filters. So for example, let's try any filter. It is refiltering. So in our case, there are no holiers. Uh, let's try growers and then supply contracts. It's empty. So the whole dynamic behavior of all of that is built with only live wire without any JavaScript. So question to you, do you like the approach of this architecture? Unfortunately, I don't have the permission to publish that repository because it was sent to me privately. So I've shown only some parts of the code, which I found fascinating. And that developer did a really good job. And we could learn something from that, not only in terms of live wire, but in general, how to structure the components, how to structure the menu items, the reusable things like traits. So it's a good lesson for all of us. If you want more lessons like this one or reviews or Laravel tips, subscribe to the channel. And also you can support me on this mission of creating daily videos by checking out one of the three products that you can see on the screen. It's Laravel admin panel generator. It's a set of my courses, currently 14 courses and set of live wire components. If we're talking about live wire, so you can purchase my live wire kit. See you guys in other videos.